So, what did you notice from the last homeworks about the Horde triple precondition Q, command Y becomes X plus 1, leaving you in a state described by the post condition Y is greater than 5? Hopefully you notice that only if X is greater than 4 is it the case that Y is greater than 5 after you do the assignment. For the Horde triple to hold, Q must imply that X is greater than 4. Otherwise, it's not the case that X is greater than 4, and therefore the assignment will not complete in a state where Y is greater than 5. So, Q must imply X greater than 4. But what do we know about the relationship between Q and the predicate X greater than 4 then? Well, we know that x is greater than 4 is weaker, or at least as weak as, the predicate q. That's what it means for q to imply x is greater than 4. So, because every precondition q must imply x is greater than 4 in order for the Hoar triple to be true, we say that x greater than 4 is the weakest precondition for executing y becomes x plus 1 if we want to complete that command in a state where y is greater than 5. In other words, the input to the command y becomes x plus 1 must satisfy that x is greater than 4 if that command is to yield an output that satisfies that y is greater than 5. Okay, let's consider this. We have q as the precondition, s as the command, and r as the postcondition. Let's give a definition. Given command S and post condition R, we're going to find the weakest precondition Q that satisfies Q as R to be the weakest precondition of S and R. And we're going to denote that by the function W of P of S and R.